Hello. Oh, Aaron. Oh man. Hey, Carlin. How's it going? Oh, horrible. It's going horrible. It's go. It's awful. It's awful. What? What a way to start a podcast, oh. or any conversation for that matter, with "Oh, it's horrible." It's awful. I mean, honesty is our honesty is our policy. What? Is, what is going on? I'm beyond. Just, I'm beyond. You know, honesty. It's like it's like super honesty. You know, I'm so beyond I'm honesty. so honest. I'm super honest. You're like post truth. Whatever, whatever is, whatever is past honesty, that's where I am. What? what the honesty what, has like, just been like, f- it just burned out of me. It is just you know, burned you, into you, out of me. It's just it's it's out I'm of now you. like yeah because honesty is like it's now all the honesty has been boiled out of me and now you have the core whatever is at the core of honesty that's what's left inside of me which is it's like what more than honesty. honesty. And and that you know that is our policy, and we're like past that. We're at the core, whatever that that you know what I'm saying. You 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 are a living embodiment of our policy. Exactly, is what you're saying. It's you're exactly like, what I'm saying. And if and if I'm saying it, and I'm you're this like in way, this metaphysical state of honesty. It is truth because that's that's where I'm at. Is this Bama Creative Group talking? It's, it's practically. Did you just get out of the session? I, I just I've been. This is what I this is what yoga? I hear all day. This is the kind of stuff I hear all the time. It is. You have the benefit of being oh in, in the Nebraska office, and you know you, you. I don't know what you're doing there in the Nebraska office. Um, I I'd love to don't come. Don't know and, what I'm doing here. I'd love to come and visit. I mean, I know that you, I've been. I've been working for months, getting ready for this episode. I, uh, months exactly. I, I haven't talked to you. You. You have no idea what's going on. It's. It's like. It's. It's a nightmare here. I. I don't know what. Okay, so Bama Dog, he yeah. came in a few months ago, and right before we last, you and I last recorded, he came in, and he he was like, hey, he showed us the he showed me the paperwork, and he's like, hey, I'm actually the majority co owner of the podcast because when when you and I and he had originally gotten together all those years ago, I mean, we're talking years ago now, we, we talked Year, years, years, multiple years, and um, for, for those for those that don't know, Alabama Dog is our co host. Uh, well, and, it's, if anything, we're his co-hosts, right? And last time we found out that we're no, we're, we are not equals. He no, we, is a thirty-four percent. Right, we sat down, owner, and we're like, hey, well, let's just split this three ways, you know, thirty-three, thirty-three, thirty-three. But right, we, we, right, you and I just we because you messed up. We weren't you and I. We weren't thinking because you messed up. You and I, we weren't thinking. You, you. Mm, I don't know about that. You and also you said you said Aaron, I got this. You know, I'm. I'm really good with math. I'm really good with finance. Uh, trust me, because you knew uh, that I, I I'm not so good when it comes to numbers. I mean, who would have thought one percentage would make that much of a difference? But there it is, right there. He's he's the majority co-owner because he's got 34, and you and I each just have 33. So we we. So I, is he rubbing that in your face like every day? It's like a it's like Carlin. You well, know, every go day, do this he, stuff every for day me he's I'm here. Your boss. Every day he's in the in the office. But is yeah. he not there every day? I mean, he's not always here, but his his you know his Alabama guys are here all the time. Okay, so he's not there, but his Alabama guys are there. there well, there, he's not there. Who's who's sitting around all the all the conference tables that you guys got? The, the the Alabama guys are sitting around conference tables. They're plotting out the Bama Creative Group stuff. I'm like, hey guys, what about the podcast? Right, let's plan the podcast. And, right, and then, right. And they just, it just hasn't seemed the to be revenue the, the priority. Like that's, isn't that what we came together to do is the podcast. And suddenly it's like, that's not the, that's not the focus anymore. What's our mission statement now? So it's something, it's something that like doesn't mean anything. It's like a motivational poster mission statement. Right. It's like to enhance the betterment of the people or the, in the, in a loop, in a way around to increase right. the world's place it's in so the world. it's so long that i've he keeps asking me to memorize it but i'm just this, so does he call you does he still interact with you a lot or no <sighs> once in a while i you know i i gotta be honest i'm the most interaction i think i have with bama dog is is maybe me being paranoid because like i bama dog was here before he left and then uh he had his uh sabbatical right before he he showed up again and we in lost him we, we, we didn't know where he right. went for a little while but if I'm being completely honest, is he listening right now? 
I don't think he's here, but I mean, I got to be careful because you know, I they okay. moved me. They I was in a I was in a pretty prime office, and they've they moved m- me into like more of a common you, area. The what? Yeah, I'm like not. I mean, there's just it, like, are his guys that important? Are they do, are they doing that much work? That's I don't even really know what they're doing. I don't know what he's doing. Like they just kind of they've just kind of like taken the work from me and sort of pushed me off into this other office, and they're like. Uh, right. Yeah, just you work on you work on the James Pod thing. You guys did so, so. So I mean, I've been working on a website, you know. But I have to still like run. Uh, I love like, our website is phenomenal. I still have to run everything past them, and it's like it's just such a pain to get everything approved, you know. And I mean, just, that was that took months to get our website up, right? I know. I mean, I thought the Tumblr thing was fine, but he just he wanted he wanted a new website. You saw you saw all those like different um, layouts I had done. I had to design. Right. I had to do like thirteen site maps and. I, didn't he go? Didn't he have like fifteen different photo shoots for his headshot for the website? And then he ended up using the original yeah, photo we had of him. Exactly fifteen is a little bit of a low end exaggeration, but yeah. it is it is a low end exaggeration. It was and like maybe... you did this. You did this like chalkboard illustration around yeah. him all we these had, different poses it was oh it was just we had like he was like like looking up in the air and he had his mouth open and i had like yeah. drawn begging strips right uh, like inspirational quotes and in there, there was like yeah i i want begging and it's like the the exclamation point was a begging strip and i'd drawn all this out and 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 he was like yeah 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 and then I put it on the site and no. And then so the site and then and then like I go through all the coding and everything. It's all gone. And we, we're back to the oh no, I want to use that original image. I right. what am I doing? Right. I'm just like spinning in circles. His, his image from years ago. Why okay, so I'm like I'm asking him, wait, what are we gonna do a new show? It's been it's been a few weeks and been a few months. It's been uh, several months, it's been a lot, it's been a long time since we've done an episode, you know? And he's like, Yeah, yeah, we'll get to it, we'll get to it. Did he have any ideas? Like, I, we've talked about this. This is why we're recording. But I assumed he he had come up with the idea for this well, episode. We had sat down. He wanted me to sit down with him, and like he was just going to record some podcasts on his own. And so he does, own? yeah, just on his own, and he does. And then none He's of like, solo? and then and then I so I take him back to the. I take him back to the guys, and you know, me and a couple of the Alabama guys were sitting there, and we're editing it, and we take it back to him, and he doesn't, and, yeah. and he doesn't want, he doesn't like, I don't, I don't, I don't, he doesn't want. Let me get, one. let me guess, he 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 wasn't happy with the script. He wasn't, and he wanted it, he wanted it all scripted out. He doesn't have, he wasn't happy with the script. He didn't hate him like how he sounded. He didn't, you know, it's, right. so it's just we don't get peppy coffee in the office anymore. What 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 what? I'm like. Guys, well, but you were you were you 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 were kind of sick of Pepe once you once you worked there, weren't yeah, you? But, uh, well, I did mean, you when, go to love when I worked there, yeah. But after it, you know, I got back, I got back into, I got back into Pepe. Of course, I love right. Pepe. absence makes you know uh, the heart right. grow fun. Yeah. Exactly, but now, and now my my heart is really fond because there is no Pepe. It's uh, it's so good. Hang on, I gotta I gotta have a sip. In 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 honor of you guys. Yeah, man, I. I don't know, so I, but I but I have an idea. I have an idea. I think this this is a potential, this is a potential okay. solution that we can get we can get this turned around. And and I know you, you weren't too keen on this idea last time, but maybe maybe you're on maybe you might be on the same page now. Is if you just you just give me a little bit, just a little bit of your uh, podcast ownership. Oh my gosh! And then I will be the majority uh, co owner, and then. Like, and then I can turn this around. I don't. I don't know, man. I don't. That is. That is risky. And honestly, it sounds like, based on what you were saying before, it sounded like you were you were a little bit brainwashed. And I don't know if I trust you right now because he might be sitting right there next to you, and he's telling you to get more percentage from me so that he can have even even more stake in the, in the, in the company never mind never mind i knew you were gonna say that look like here's the thing i don't i don't know how much longer i can keep this up i i've been looking i've been looking you've been look you've been looking for a job i've been looking for a new james bond james bond podcast i mean i've had some interviews and i'm i'm really Is... i'm really far along in the process with um with one james bond podcast in particular and right. um this is this is the first I've heard of this. So you you you're thinking of going out solo. I'm thinking or uh, 
I'm or thinking jumping of, ship. Yeah, Beams I'm thinking jump. No, no, I'm not Beams Beams Johnny. Johnny. They they didn't return my any of my calls. Well, um, you called them. You called Beams Johnny. They didn't, they didn't. I don't know who you are right now. They didn't return any of my calls, so don't worry. Don't worry. I'm not going to Beams we don't, Johnny. We don't even name. Na- we don't even name names on this podcast. No. And here you are we calling don't, Beams Johnny, asking for a job. Here's when we name names. Is when we like the podcast. Oh, now, now there's exceptions no, to there's the rule. There's been exceptions. There's always been exceptions. Because we've named we've named names. I, I I am I am I've had three. I, I guess uh, four. I've had four. We've, different we've always named names. I've had four different interviews with with the hashtag four. bond underscore age hashtag bond edge asterisk exclamation point at simple podcast. I am I am way far. I'm way far in the interview process with them. I I, I can't it's believe gonna it. Happen. It's gonna happen. I feel it. They had um they had me do a little practice recording with uh with the main guy there just to just to test things out and uh do you want do you want to hear it do you want to hear it i guess okay Fine. okay here listen to it i uh wanted to take this opportunity to ask you a few questions to see if you'd be a good fit mm-hmm. at bondage okay Okay. Now, should I answer everything with the hashtags and the underscores? Like, are we do we put those in all the time, or do we? Is that just a part it, of the title? This this isn't a live tweet. Feel free to, you know, converse as you would in real life. Okay. Okay. Not not everything is a hashtag. I just want to fit in, you know, as best right. I, I can. I get it. I get it. Now, the first question we have to ask all potential employees at Bondage. What are your thoughts on Diamonds Are Forever? Diamonds Are Forever is the second last time Sean Connery played James Bond. I'm, I'm less interested in facts and more interested in your reaction. Think of this as a Rorschach test okay. for okay. Bond films. I, I, I don't need your facts. We know all the facts because we're bondage. Okay. Um... Diamonds Are Forever had uh, Blofeld in it. Um, that's a fact. That's a fact. Okay. Um, let me think about this. Okay. So on on James Pod, on the Pod James Pod podcast, we, we don't rank our movies in the traditional sense. We like to to put them in tiers. You know, there's a lot of there's a lot of things good and a lot of things bad about all these movies. Um, so we we came up with the idea of a, a top tier, a middle tier, and a, and a bottom tier. And Diamonds Are Forever is in my middle tier. So that's there you go. That's what I think about it. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. That's my opinion of Diamonds Are Forever. Mm-hmm. It's pretty enlightening that it's in my middle tier, right? Mm-hmm. Hmm. It it is telling. Yes. Yeah. Okay. You know that wasn't that wasn't too bad. It wasn't that wasn't. I know. I mean, I flubbed a few. It was things. bad. It was bad. I flubbed a few and things. I don't think it was. I don't think it was too bad. But and think... it, it kills me to say that. But it could it could have been worse. Not much worse, but it could have been worse. I, mean, I think I came off okay. It, it's a lot of pressure, you know. And the part of the issue is is uh, uh, my focus. You know, my focus I'm these just, last I need, this last my year. Puppy? Where's my peppy? I need I need some. I mean, right now. I'm just, we used to much. we used to eat and drink and breathe and just live James Bond. And this last year, I, that's what that's all we're doing. Isn't that what we're doing right this now? This last year, no, yeah, of course it is. But it's like I haven't I haven't podcasted with is. you since August. But Carlin has bigger and better things he wants to get onto. I just I feel like there's a knife in my back. That, that's how we both feel. It's Alabama dogs put a knife in our back. Oh well, yeah, it's Alabama dog. It, listen, you didn't. You asked me how things have been going here. You didn't. You didn't let me answer. And I was going to tell you that ever since he left Nebraska, and I, I never mentioned this to you because I, I didn't. I think I, I thought I was just going crazy. 
But once once he came back to Tallahassee, and you mentioned his his friends, his human friends, his dog friends that that are now working for us, yeah. Not I guess for him. That I've I've felt like I've been. Uh, someone's been watching me. Someone's been like tailing me around town. There's just this ominous car like parked down the street. Uh huh. From me and like, I don't know who it is. And all of a sudden, there's like more people walking dogs around my neighborhood. And at first, I'm like, okay, you know, a lot of people got some new dogs, but they do like these weird things in front of my house, and I always got to go clean up after. And it's just a bunch of people moved into your neighborhood that have dogs, and you're think that's weird. Right. I mean, I just feel like I've been watched, and I guess they they always come when when Bama Dog sh- shoots me a quick text, like asking what I'm doing right now, or. Hey, you aren't busy. Busy? Why don't you go do this for me? And it always comes. I've I've slowly figured it out. The timing comes always a few minutes after somebody's walked their dog past my house. So so you, so somebody walks past your house and then you get a text right. that says, "Hey, you're hey, you aren't busy." Like, like they know you're not busy. Right. Like they I'm like outside with with uh with the children or like uh, they they saw me oh. like just pull in into my garage. So he knows, like, I just got home. So you're outside or... playing with Sean, Roger, Timothy, uh, Pierce, Daniel. Yeah, I'm. I'm. I'm glad you remember my son's name. Because apparently you didn't remember that we had a podcast. So I've. I, I, what I do just, you mean? I didn't remember. I remember. I've been uneasy about this. I've. Been, I've been. There have been times where I've, I, felt threatened by Bama Dog because he's got. He's got a lot of power. He's got a lot of people, manpower now. I mean, all those conference tables, I mean, people have to fill it up sometimes, right? Since we recorded in August, since uh, uh, everything, all all of my suspicions have kind of formed since then, I don't know, I've I've also been thinking about, you know, what can I do post-Pod James Pod? What do you mean, you're already thinking post-James Pod? No, hear me out. I I was thinking, what can I do... Post James Pod. You're getting on my case, and you're already thinking about it. No, and I thought about it, and I thought, and I thought, no, I can't leave Carlin high and dry because he is my co-host. He is my, he is my Bond brother. And I say, no, I'm gonna, I'm gonna stick with it. I'm gonna keep recording with Carlin. We're gonna make this work, no matter what. I'm gonna do whatever Bam Dog says for me to do. Because I can't leave Carlin high and dry. Because he's the one fighting the good fight every single day in the office. And I have, you know, even if somebody's checking up on me once or twice a day, you know, I can live through that. But wow. here you wow. are no. going off on your own. Now I feel like I'm owed something. Uh, I, I, wow, that's, wow. I, I had no idea you actually saw me in the way that I should be seen. You know, I say a lot of crap about you in this podcast. And it was really hard for me to say that. Is it really hard for me to say, like, you know, I like Carlin. As well or, like, you I, I respect I respect Carlin's opinion. Even though we all know who the best Bond expert is because of 007 Seen It. 007 Seen It. Seen it. Seen it. Well, right. We do know. It's been proven. It's been proven. It's proven that because... It's my game that... We played at my house that I'm the expert. No, I won the game. And that I carried you. I mean, that's debatable. I'm going to call the, the hashtag underscore so, Bond. So you say he's not, he's, you said, you said, sorry, I, sorry to interrupt your hashtag underscore friend. But you said, you said Bama Dog is not in the office all the time. Like no, he's for not. how long a period? I mean, sometimes like, like days he won't week? be there or he'll, he'll pop in with, well, that's the thing, I guess. Have you heard? So, Have you heard? I mean, he's got like a he's got like a, a new girlfriend. What? And I, I think he's hanging out with her all the time. In Tallahassee? Yeah. Is she from Alabama? That's the weird thing. I think she's a dog from up north. It is a weird. It is a weird. Oh, man. Ma- yeah, it's like a dog oh, from like is she f- New Nebraska? Hampshire or something. Oh, way up new hampshire yeah i think i don't know i'm not met her i just i just it's just weird to they me. sound like, like they're opposites yeah way opposite like not nothing nothing alabama about her at all it's just weird and, to me 
that's like if I had to pick a personality trait to match with the Alabama dog, it would be that they're from Alabama. They're a what, what do we call them? Al- Alabamonians? Uh, Bama- Bamalonian. Ba- <laughs> Alabamalonian. No, no. Just a Bamalonian. Yeah. If they were a Bamalonian, I, I would put that at the top of my must-have list you for... You think? I mean, the way he talks about Alabama all A significant the time. other. Right. It's. I mean, it's all he talks about. Bama Creative Group? I mean, yeah. He's all the time. He's like, oh, yeah. And, you know, you just... Alabama. Uh, it's right there next to the, the route thing. And there's a... There's a small town there, and there's a there's you know, the sign, and there's yeah. And well, he's does like, he even like Peppy I mean, anymore? You, when he's in the office, you got to you know it's him and all these Alabama dogs, right? Or all, all these right. Alabama guys, and and I'm and I'm sitting there, and it's like half an hour, and this is not an exaggeration at all, low end or high end, and they're just sitting there talking about highways and Alabama landmarks, and it's like, what's the smallest town in Alabama we can name that no one that like that somebody else right. has heard of and like how long it takes to drive or right. How not long, drive there, but like yeah, chase well, trucks there and chase stuff. trucks. And it's like, Oh, and how do you, what's the fastest way to get there? Well, if you go up this, I don't know. I don't know any, I can't even retain it. It's cause it's so, uh, just, I just sit there and listen. And I'm like, what am, what are we going to talk about the podcast guys? Is this part of the reason that he hasn't switched headquarters over to Alabama? He's kept in Tallahassee. Cause like, they have cheap plane tickets or something like I'm surprised that's not part of our website is how to get to the Bama creative group headquarters from the airport, from highways, from New Hampshire, uh, right. different right. things like that. Right? right. That seems like it would be a natural thing. Like, you know, because a lot of people would be flying in. Well, for the, cause, the, cause I mentioned last time, the Alabama dog university, he started that back up. Alabama dog, you? Yeah, I told you that last time. He started that is back this, up. But isn't isn't that folded into Bama Creative Group? It is, but he started those sessions back up, so people people fly like in. A, yeah, people drive in. They fly in. They people sign up for the for the classes. They they show up and you know they like, spend they spend a ridiculous amount of money. And then and then like they get there and there's lunch and there's like a networking thing. And then he gets up and he gives conference tables, conference, conference tables. They get these little notebooks with the logo on it. And they get these pens with the logo on it. And there's just like a sticker or a magnet or something too. And he gets up and he, he only talks for like at most 10 minutes. Like they come in, they're coming in wow. from where he gets up for like 10 minutes. And then, he, and then what, what is, what's their reaction? Do they like, are they, they disappointed? They just, they're like in awe. Cause it's Alabama dog talking to them. And then, right. and then somebody the potential... comes out and they get and they give them all like they just lavish everybody with these gifts. I don't know. It's weird to me. I don't. I don't see the numbers. I don't see the budget. I don't think it affects the podcast budget, so I'm not too worried about it. It's just, and then oh. they leave. Then they leave and they go. They get back on their planes and they fly out. And here we are. We can't afford Little Black Rock marketing. <sighs> I told you who works there now, right? Does he does he play does he pay for their plane tickets like a Who's, private jet? No, they pay. They fly in. He doesn't pay for oh. any of their stuff. I mean, he gives them these. What, gifts. what, what is he? What does he feed them? Begging. Oh yeah, begging's there. Um, I mean, it's like this like buffet of stuff. It's like um, you know, like some sort of chicken dish uh, with maybe some rice. Four rivers. Got a little salad. Oh, never for nothing. Never anything I want. I suggest four rivers. I suggest. Pe- I say, hey, Peppy should cater this. Right. No. Right. No. But that's just that just blows my mind. I mean, we have Peppy catering our dodgeball games. Has your team practiced? There's no. I used to have like a little space in the old office. We can get together and practice, but. But uh, that that I had this huge room. We could get together and practice. We could call plays. We could, you know, say I'd, I'd shell. I'd be like, you know, uh, the runner, the runner uh, donut. You know, I'd, I'd yell that, and then they would know what to do, and then they they do that play, and I'd have little scrimmages against each oh, other. Runner donut. The runner donut. That's a, yeah, that sounds like a good play for some Pepe. 
I'm not telling you what the runner donut is, or even if it's a real play, because I don't want you to. Get I'm any taking insight. notes. I'm furiously taking notes over here. I don't want you to get any insight. You're... But I'd say, you know, I'd be like, hey, hey, it's the, it's the, you know, pass the nine, and they hey, would do hey, the pass the nine, and then they do. Okay, that. and then and then what do they do? They they do the play right. They do what the they do what. And how's the play is. go? Well, who, so gets, like, who gets who gets the ball? One side of, gets the ball. So well, which, it's, which side? In this play, it's usually Daniel Daniel Tim, Craig, Timothy Dalton right? Bond. Tim, okay, Timothy Dalton gets it, and then what? So Timothy Dalton Bond gets it. Okay, so then and then uh-huh. right behind him is uh-huh. Boris. Okay. Oh, I knew it was going to be Boris. Okay, okay so and then then what's Boris do? Timothy Dalton, he's got his loose fitting clothes, right? So he can really stretch out. He takes the ball and he, he like shoots he's it. Still, he's still dressed like he's in the 80s? Yeah, he's totally. And he, okay. and he, and he okay. bounce passes it behind him through his, his own legs. And Boris catches it. And then and then Timothy Elton drops to the ground. Okay? Of course. And then Boris. He's so, he's so melodramatic. Okay, okay, Boris, at this point, we, we've anticipated that the other side has got a volley of balls coming our way. Because Dalton's dropped to the ground and Boris has caught his... The ball that Dalton's right. just passed Always. to him, and Always. and Boris yells out, "I am invincible!" and and he blocks the balls that are headed towards him with the ball he's just caught. And all of he, the balls, yeah, all the ball totally with his one ball. In such a way that they ricochet okay. off, and this is what? where Odd Job and um and Pierce Brosnan Bond run in and they catch the balls, and right like that, we've got like three guys out because because they catch the balls. Oh, because because Dalton also catches a ball. He's right underneath and he catches a ball. So that's the hey hey pass the nine, right? All right, all right. Thank you, thank you for that. I don't know. It's just I, I I'm just you know I'm doing little things, right? I'm just trying to like I'm trying to keep my edge. I'm trying to keep my edge. I'm trying to keep my you know my focus on Bond and, and I come in to sounds, work. It sounds day. like you're focusing on getting an, another job. I, I'm I, well. I, I'm what? But what job do I want? I want a job where I can talk about James Bond all the time. That's why I'm looking well, at. Well, that's all we're good H, at. But, right. That's all we're good. We so spend just, our entire lives preparing for this podcast. Right. So when I'm sitting Pod around James and I'm sitting around the office and I'm like not working on the website or I'm waiting on Bama Dog to get some notes back to me, you know, I'm just sitting around. I'm like, I'm just reading. I've been doing a lot of reading recently. Um, I've been reading some right, James, I've been doing, some I've, James I've been doing Bond some comics, too. some comic books. I think that's what we're talking about this episode, right? I, I think it's all it we've is. Been I, talking about. I think we're talking about. Well, clearly, all we're talking about James Bond, but I mean, I'm talking about. I've been reading some James. I just sit around and I read comic books all the time. I'm just trying to keep. I'm trying to stay <sighs> in the Bond game. By that, I assume, you mean Varger. Yeah. Well, you know, we don't have we don't have any new movies coming up. Right. How disappointing. We don't have any new. It's a new Bond movie every year. Every year. Harry Potter can do it. The come on, the Marvel movies. Da- There's like three every da- year. Da- Daniel Craig's not getting any younger, folks. Okay, so since you, Carlin, have infinite more experience with comic books than I, Aaron Nix, have, I will let you sort of introduce what the heck we are talking about. Okay, so there have been James Bond comic books in the past there have been um a few that were done by like dark horse comics comic books in the past but there there's been quite a gap there's been quite a a bit of time those those came out i think in the 1980s um, the about the time that uh, yeah, Dalton was Bond, yeah, I remember a guy named Paul Galacy did the art for some of them. Oh, I used to own a few, but I didn't have all of them. And then at some point, I, I, I sold them off. Them. And I have more. Right I don't. Here. I regret doing that because I am a Bond expert. Oh, I totally regret doing that. But anyways, then uh, then uh, this company uh-huh. came, Dynamite Comics. They come yeah, along Dynamite and they get comics. so they're just dynamite. dynamite. The rights to the James Bond license, and so they're. They're not publishing James Bond comics. And not only that, they get this guy named Warren Ellis. Ooh, Warren Ellis Warren is Ellis. a pretty big name stuff. in the comic He's book such world. A big He's name. a huge name. He's a big writer. And, he, James, and Warren Ellis is writing some of these James Bond comics. And the first uh, set of five or six issues is uh, a story called Varger, V-A-R-G-R. Mm, and, okay. and so James is Bond. A, is that a tech startup? And uh, James Bond is uh, is in this, and it's not based on Daniel Craig. It's not based on 
Pierce Brosnan. It's just like, this is James Bond. Oh, this good. is James perfect, Bond. Perfect dodgeball recruit. So I don't know why um, why there was this like subtle mockery of everything I just said, but hey, that's all right. When you're not the Bond expert. I don't know what you're talking about. So, okay, so we got this, this Barger story. And, I mean, how involved are we talking about? Is it like a... When I first looked at it, I'm, you know, I'm thinking one story. No, it's like six stories, right? Or not it's six like, stories, six like volumes. Six issues. Uh, six issues? Okay. Yeah, it's like six issues. It all tells one story. All together, it's just mm, like just falls short of like 200 pages. It's like 208 pages, but a lot of a lot of these 208 pages in this little collection, a good chunk of them are like alternate covers or like different, like black and white art. Different from the, artwork, yeah. Yeah, so, uh, you know, like 150 pages or so what am i uh an expert on counting no i'm an expert on james i Bond. thought you were good with numbers but that is definitely not the case so it's a standalone bond it's not referring to any specific story no because you, you know, if you look at it it's like I, the closest i thought was i thought that q sort of looked like john cleese it was a dead-on john cleese he's got the he's got the mustache but this is not like pierce the... brosnan bond and it's in definitely not Judy Dench M. How would you describe this Bond? I, I, I would describe him as... Archer. He he is... What did you say? He's Archer. He's... he Yeah, that's a great description. Thank you. Yeah. He, he reminded... As I'm reading it, I'm like, this guy is Archer. This is like... Yeah. Really, what I'm reading it, I'm thinking Varger is like... What if Archer was done without the comedic bent? Uh-huh. That would be this comic, because he, he, I think he is a perfect blend of Daniel Craig toughness with Pierce Brosnan suave mm-hmm. looks and like the way he dresses, and he's like a pretty boy, but like they're mocking him that he's a pretty boy because he's like incredibly violent, and which is a pretty good theme throughout the entire collection here he seems to have a a real disrespect for authority because some sometimes in the bond movies it's like oh oh bond you have such a disrespect for authority but in the end he doesn't really um but here you're we're really seeing it we're really we're we're being shown it was was like he was doing it to tease or uh it was kind of like in a uh like a, a a parental sort of disobedience where he's he's disobeying m but he doesn't really want to disobey m or let her down or him down right right there's always been a, a fatherly or you know a paternal or maternal sort of relationship which which is fine I, I like that too but here it doesn't seem to be the case it seems to be like mm, i'm gonna do no. whatever i want because i'm james bond you know because m is pretty much i know this will make the council of mothers Oh. but M is just a straight up dick in this in this book. Like M is just like, I don't even know why I keep you around, but just go do your dumb work and be quiet and shut up. I thought that was a little bit. Uh, I don't know. It sets it sets up sets up Bond in a, in a slightly different way than what we're used to, right? With the movies, with the movies, the the Blu-rays, the. We, the movies on Blu-ray. Excuse me. We've talked about this before with the movies. The thing maybe I didn't like about this was the sci-fi angle. Um, and and I know the movies have that. Even going back to the first movie, Doctor No. There's. I thought I thought Die Another Day was your your favorite. There was a. Um, that was in your top tier, right? Let mm-hmm. me go back. You, may, you might be your misremembering. Go back and listen to that one again. But these guys, you know, these there's these bionic arm people, and right, and that's I mean that's not a huge part of this story. What do you mean it's not a huge part of the story? It's, it's not, it is I a mean, huge it's... part of the story. I mean, is it though? Yeah, yeah. I mean, it's only a huge part of the story. Is it really? The I henchman mean... is a bionic arm lady. <laughs> well, yeah, but what what henchman isn't? I mean, there's 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 very few henchmen that don't have some sort of like supernatural strength or something or tool or or weapon. I know or a different thing like that. But does that mean I have to like it? I mean, do you not like Bond movies? 
I love Bond funny. movies. Doesn't sound. It sounds like you hate everything that's unrealistic about Bond, and you only like the straight up realism. Do you like the bionic arms? Do I like the bionic arms? I mean, I thought it was. I thought it was very Bond esque. Like it didn't. I didn't mind it one bit. I didn't question why it was in the story or like this isn't bond this doesn't seem like a james bond story that's not what no. i'm saying i'm like i'm that's like I'm, I'm, like, I'm like yeah this is bond it's like what you know whatever i don't i didn't think about it ever again I'm i just saying. assumed okay okay or, these guys or, or, have these like saying. bionic arms i'm like oh we've had we've seen bionic arms since since I dr know. no it's like I what know, are you what I'm is saying. your problem uh, it's like you have, it's like you've never it. seen a bond movie before i've totally seen a bond movie i, just I know i'm questioning everything i'm questioning everything that you've seen before and here you go you want to start a whole new james bond podcast I'm not... and those guys are going to think like who's this guy I'm not trying to start a new podcast. I I don't even necessarily want oh, to not? leave. I you're want not? to do you're not? What was Bob that recording? What was that recording? It was just I'm just putting feelers out there. Yeah, auditions. For the new me. No. And you you're not getting a new me. I'm not I, I'm not looking to get a new you. I'm just looking oh, to Oh, you're not? I just you're want not? I just want to sit and talk about James Bond. And That's all I'm trying to do. And here you are just saying that this isn't James Bond. Okay, where were you last month? Where were you the month before that? Where were you the month before where that? Where were you? What about the month before that? Where have you been since August? I don't think any of my communications have gotten through to you. I think, I think one, my, commu- my, my communication protocol has been tampered with. Have you been that compromised? Whatever I'm sending you is, is being filtered through. I, I got a lot of I got a lot of headaches around here because I think I'm I think I'm being followed. I think I'm being watched. I, I I'm getting suspicious text messages from Bama Dog that that's very stalker esque. And I don't hear from you for months. And now you're telling me that you're you're doing all this website stuff all out of the blue. I I find out that we have a new website, podjamespod.com, and I'm like, yeah, when did and this I- get done? Didn't I, didn't I send you an email saying, hey, Aaron, do you want to help with this? Did you not get that email? The last I heard about any sort of project related to this was, was, with the, was the photo shoots and how I could help uh, come up with some ideas for Bama Dog's new headshots. Okay, okay. I, I, look, this is, I feel like this is exactly what Alabama Dog wants, is us right. turning He's pitting on each us other. against each other. He's pitting us against each other. But if we stand united... And and you just give me part of your podcast ownership, then oh we'll, here we we'll go here we this. go again, here we go so, suck up to me so I can I can give you all of my worth. I didn't say all of it. I just just if you give me like how much two how much would be good enough points. for you two? Oh, so you want to be a majority? Well, that's the only way this works. Listen, I got I got to think long and hard about that. What do I get out of it? Alabama dog won't be the majority co- co-host anymore. And he'll call off the dogs, literally. I don't know if he will, but I won't. I certainly won't be spying on you. If I gave you some of my stock, is there a way to get it back? Like, can you get some from him, and then and then we go back to being even, and he's uh, uh, has less than us. Like I'm thinking if we if we both have 34 34 he has 32 my math na- might not be perfect but you get what I'm saying. Okay. Okay. Um right is there is there a way to do that? Well what if I have what if I have 35 and he has 34 and you have 31? How does it oh, that not work? Oh my goodness. How does that Oh my how goodness. Does, how are you in any worse shape? So I'll I'll have less Say, in everything, there's got to be some incentive, some buyout. I assume I'd be, I would be uh, compensated for this, right? It wouldn't be compensated. This is, this is how we unite to help take over the podcast. Yeah, you would have sounds say, like a bunch of you sounds have, like, like you a bunch of baloney to me. You just tell me what you think, and I'll, 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 I'll try tell you what I happen. think. Here's, here's my counter offer. Bama Dog sells all of his ownership back to us and is no longer part of the podcast. That's right. I said it. I said it as many great 
beautiful ideas he has had over the over the course of the years we've had this podcast, I'm ready to move on. And, You're ready and, to move on now. And I'm ready to make beautiful things again. Well, look, maybe I'm maybe I'm the one who's ahead of the curve here. You know, I'm ready to move on. If I need to, I'm the one who's already been talking to other podcasts. I'm in a prime position. Listen, I I was ready I don't to know go. What you're Only do. reason I was held back is because I, I I thought I was doing you a favor by sticking around. I don't know what's gonna happen if if this podcast something happens and it all explodes. And you, what are you gonna do? Where are you gonna go talk about James Bond all the time? Maybe I'll, maybe I'll take a James a James Bond break. What? And I don't I don't know what else. <sighs> Who are you, I mean, Daniel Craig? James Bond, James Bond is is the limits of my expertise. I mean, I'm, I'll be honest. I'll say it. When it comes to other things in life, James Bond is where it starts and where it ends. I give it my all. Oh, okay, okay, all right. Here, maybe, maybe this is what we need to do. And I, I'm, I'm desperate. Maybe this is what we need to do. Because there's, you know what? There's other I mean, things. Other things? There's other things that James Bond has helped like inspire, what? right? Like James like Bond what? is the source like other of really, really, really bad spy movies? Yeah. Maybe that's like, what we do. Like Maybe that's what we do is other, we poison other the podcast and make, make it something Alabama Dog doesn't want to be a part of. We like, Maybe... Like Triple X? Exactly. Maybe we come back and we talk about Triple X. And, and then, well, I, don't and then know, I don't know anything about Triple X. Well, then you watch Triple X, and I'll watch it, and we'll come together, and we'll talk about it. And it'll be like talking about James Bond, because we'll look at it, and we'll say, Triple X, how did you become this? How did James Bond make you this? And you think you think Bama Dog wouldn't like that? Maybe not. But there's only one way to find out. If you think... I am, I'm willing to give it a shot. If we think that Bama Dog will will not be a fan and he he will want out, and we can buy his shares, and if you'll stay on the podcast so we can keep talking about James Bond, that means you can't go off and audition in other James Bond podcasts. Okay, okay, I'll call I'll call the guys over at. Hashtag under pod bond age score age with the loop and the circles. I'll call them and say, Hey guys, forget it. I'm, 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 I'm where I'm at. I don't, I don't want any offers cause I don't want to have to deal with counter offers. I, just, I mean, don't, I'm, I'm don't, withdrawing don't do my that. application. Don't do that. Don't do that yet. I mean, I appreciate that, but you gotta, Look. you gotta wait until one, once Bama dog says he's out. Then you can go do that because be I honest. I don't want, Let's be I don't want you Let's to be honest. They're not gonna go for me. They're not gonna go for me. I'm Who's too good. Gonna... The bo- no one the wants me. H Bond guys. None of them. None of the other podcast. None of the other Bond podcasts want me. They don't because want you'll me make on them their show. Because that's what that's what I'm afraid of. They're like I'm too well, we, far into we can't this. have we can't have a real expert on the show. I get what you're saying. Well, then how how would I ever me being. Uh, out of the two of us, the the real expert. How would what? I ever find another gig? Okay, that's why we have to stick together. We have to stick together, you and me. We can't let Mama Dog tear us apart. It's all we we've all been we torn apart before. James Bond. We've been torn apart before. We can't let that happen again. This world needs this podcast. James Bond needs in this, this podcast. In this time, more than ever. This world needs something that it can count on. We're in this limbo period of between James Bond movies. What's going to happen next? People are looking for the experts. Right. And we got to beat those guys. Right. We are if, those guys. If we're not out there, then where are those guys Like that they are making the fan film? Where are they right. looking for their information They're, and their they, inspiration? They, they have no material right now. There's they none. are to stand still with, with their script writing. If we're out here giving our voice, adding our voice, then we can be an inspiration. We can give them that perfect ending. Okay. I think, I think, I think that's it. I think that's what we're going to do. 
And I think with that, we've successfully covered everything with Varger. Yeah, I think we've pretty much covered the entire plot. Uh, we talked about the Bond girls. Yeah, we talked about everything, right? Pretty much. We talked we've about the picked, ending. We've picked the dodgeball teams. We've done it all. Uh, we've... Picked dodgeball team. We talked about the, the boat makeout scene. Yeah. Would you uh, put this in your top, middle, or bottom tier, Carlin? Um, of course, this is an unofficial ranking because this would be an unofficial ranking. Movie. Yeah, uh, there was some cool ideas. I I thought it was refreshing to get just a clean take on it. I found it to be a little unnecessarily gory. Uh, I mean, I'm not like squeamish or about it or anything, but it just didn't seem like it was necessary to have all the blood and like everything that they were putting into it. The like the bullets that got shot and turned into like eight different eight. bullets. And it's like, I don't know. Does it like, do we need to see like people's heads exploding? And you know, I just, whatever. Right. Uh, so, and then, like I said, the Archer thing, like bond just really reminded me of Archer. Um, and I found that distracting really. So that could be me. That's, that could be a, my, my problem thing, but it's still my tier. It's my ranking middle what about you well me not being the comic book expert here are things i liked okay i thought the i thought the illustrations were really well done oh yeah that jason masters is great yeah good artist i thought i thought there there's some gorgeous imagery being done some cool uh blocking and storyboards i mean because when i think of comic i think of storyboards like some good storyboarding throughout here and i liked how they approached the modernity of of james bond so like he's it's a modern take on james bond but uh they still reference like you know you know you're a relic from the cold war and like all these themes that have kind of come up in james bond movies as of late but they they really make like they really poke fun at who james bond is and even like him like dressing in a in a good suit and looking handsome is like not what you would expect from a cold stone killer uh or cold-blooded killer i thought it was just so fast and that might be like the comic book like medium Mm. like everything just happened it's you know it's not a novel it's not a feature length screenplay or anything like that everything just happened so fast i don't really get any character substance from from this James Bond outside of a few instances and the violence was just at first I was like oh you know this is a really interesting take it's not like a clean cut James Bond character it's more like a oh what kind of film would I like a Kingsman yeah uh, secret service like the movie that came out a couple years ago where it's like you're seeing headshots left and right and blood splatters left and right and uh, I thought it was. I thought it kind of ruined what makes James Bond really cool to me, is that it doesn't need to be super gory or super violent, right? To still be cool, and the like. The only gadget he had was like those bullets that split apart inside people's brains, and you see their heads like pretty much just get sawed off with one shot. And then I was like, what? But I don't know. I I like the style. I liked uh, the story was pretty much typical James Bond story. Uh, I would put this in my upper middle. Mm. I think if you're a James Bond fan and you don't mind comic books, or even if you don't read comic books, like I am, I am a person that I have, you know, I've read a comic book before, but I don't make it a point to read comic books. I started reading this and I was engaged enough that I wanted to continue uh continue reading it's a bond it's a bond fan friendly story so if you like bond obviously you do if you're listening to this podcast i would uh i would check it out yeah i think i think you're right i think it is a fairly bond fan friendly story which sometimes with uh warren ellis's writing and boy you're gonna mock me again but i I, I like warren ellis a lot but i think sometimes he comes at it with Warren Ellis a lot. He, with a bit of a mockery to what he's writing about um and so i was a little concerned with how he was going to approach it i don't 
I don't feel like he really mocks Bond. I think he has uh, a good respect for Bond. So question, there's a nut, there's a next series. Yeah. There's Is been some the more. Best word to describe it. Yeah. Okay. And I think there's a Felix mini series that they've right. published. I, I, I did read about that coming out or it hasn't come out yet. Right. Uh, some of it may have. I, I'm I'm a little behind in my comic book reading because I've been so busy on the website. I'm a little behind in my comic book reading. Oh, so, wow. would you give the next series, like, would we want to do the next series for the next for for another podcast in the future? Oh, I think down I the road we should do. Yeah, we should do it again. We should do another right. series. You know, maybe maybe not the next one, but we should you know do the show and we should try and do some more James Bond comics. Maybe maybe. I don't know how you feel about this. Maybe we should go back and read some of the Fleming novels. I think that would be a great choice. If uh, last time I looked on eBay, Fleming novels were like five hundred dollars for the full set or something ridiculous. Well, it depends on which set you're getting. If you're getting right, I don't want to get like the ugliest version set. I want like good sets. Oh, there's that one guy is at Gillette with the like the watercolor paintings of the bond girls and they why, like why why is like finding a set of the bond books like the hardest thing in the world to find it drives know. me crazy i don't know i've looked in like 50 used bookstores and by 50 i mean like a couple <laughs> yeah, low in exaggeration right <laughs> it's all i know how to do uh yeah, I think I think this is a, su- a successful episode because we we really delved deep into Varger. Oh yeah, we, and we we just we just chewed it up. We 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 spit out all the information we 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 could get out of it. I mean, my only concern and, is that we talked about it is so in depth that somebody right, would listen to this we'll podcast. Might, left some people behind. Well, they might not want to read it now because they feel like they've already read it. I mean that that is a risk we're running here with pretty much anything we do. That is true. All right, well let's let's stay in touch. Let's figure out another way to keep in touch. Is clearly Listen, maybe I need like a burner phone or something. Yeah, maybe that. I feel like they're going to catch on. I feel like I'm in, in an episode of The Wire or something like where they're they're keeping track of me. Maybe uh, I'll I'll write you uh, like a letter or something. Oh. Analog. And we'll see I like we'll see that. if it gets there. We'll see if it gets there. Yeah, let's I I mean, I still get fan I still get fan mail. Do you have you gotten? Did you get a letter from Janice on, about the last episode? No, I got a I got a letter from Janice like I don't know two months ago. It's fan mail from Janice. I'm just gonna go down the stack here. It says, uh, Dear Aaron, where are you at? Signed Janice. Hmm. And I mean, there's a lot of subtext there. Of course there I is. Think, Do you think... I think it's, it's saying that she's depressed uh-huh. and she misses us. Me in particular, that's why she's mailing me the letter. Yeah. And that um, she she needs some more bond in her life, which is goes back to what we just got done talking about. Yeah. Do you... Do you think there's any subtext about whether or not she liked the last episode we did? I think there. I think she wasn't very happy about it. Why not? Because I thought it was. Where are you at? I mean, it's self-explanatory. Where she's, she was disappointed in my. I don't want to say performance because I and her, I'm just I'm raw. I'm 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 authentic. We we pride ourselves with authenticity here. Yeah. Uh. But she she felt like our our look into the the fan film was just not it was lacking I guess it was lacking. Mm-hmm. You know I appreciate the criticism. You know we have we have great listeners. We have great reviews on iTunes. Some are critical. Some are more critical than others. Big Daddy Audio, thank you for your time and and your effort in giving us a review. Uh, I don't want you to feel forgotten. We uh, we love all our fans, whether it's you're giving us a one star or a five star. You know, we're still looking for a couple two star reviews mm. on iTunes. Just to round we, out the collection. Round out. Yeah, round them out. Yeah, yeah. Well, I think the guys from Alabama 
Uh, they're coming back. Are they out coming of, back from lunch? Back. Well, they were, they were in the conference room meeting about something, and it looks like they're breaking up. So I probably ought Do to they have marker ahead. boards? Oh, marker boards galore, and chalkboards, and uh, just all over have, the place. They have note. They have big notepads on easels, and they have. I mean, they have acronyms. They, they are writing like Ford, like a like a Ford acronym, F O R D. Stuff like that all the time. Stuff like that all the time. Everything's an acronym okay. for. Them. Oh yeah, so I probably ought to. Yeah, I probably ought to go. I don't. I, I just. I don't want to be. Uh, Okay. Yeah, I don't want. I don't want to get you in trouble for. You yeah. Know, so the doing Alabama the thing that our podcast is right up. So you better, um, you better sign up today because if you don't get, if you don't get uh, oh registered today, you're gonna be, uh, you're gonna be missing out. See, so can, your script uh, is killing me. Can I? Uh, can I? Are you count doing telemarketing? You to be there? Okay. Are you All doing right. telemarketing now? Okay. Well, that's great. I look forward to. Uh, I look forward to seeing you at that next Alabama Dog University. Okay. All right. <laughs> Goodbye. <laughs> All right. Yeah, I was, Bye, just, I was just on uh, trying, trying to promote Bama Dog University. Bama Dog University. Yeah, he ain't sold anything. Yeah. Signed up for Bama Dog University. Yeah, I think. Um, I don't know some guy. Yeah, tell me. I'll go right Who's that? Tomorrow. Who's that talking right now? That voice sounds familiar. Just some guy is coming. I, yeah, yeah. He sounds familiar. I, I gotta go. I gotta go. Okay. Okay. Bye.